Today, President Joe Biden delivered remarks on the beaches of Normandy, France, commemorating the 80th anniversary of D-Day and calling on Americans to continue to fight to preserve democracy and stay true to what Americans stand for. ABC's M. Wynn has you covered from Washington. 80 years after D-Day in Normandy, France, President Biden declaring democracy is never guaranteed. We often talk about the ideals of life, liberty, pursuit of happiness. What we don't talk about is how hard it is. The president honoring those whom he says saved the world with their sacrifices on the beach that day. We don't talk when they decide that their country matters more than they do. That's what the Rangers at Port uh, Point de Hoc did. The president drawing parallels between the Allied forces liberating Nazi-occupied Europe to the ongoing war in Ukraine. They stood against Hitler's aggression. Does anyone doubt that they would want America to stand up against Putin's aggression here in Europe today? Today, Biden coming face to face with Ukrainian President Zelensky, reiterating the U.S.'s unwavering support and apologizing for the months long delay in military aid. Some of our very conservative members who are holding it up. This coming a week after Biden granted Ukraine limited permission to use American made weapons inside Russia, despite concerns it could escalate the war. But U.S. officials say Biden changed his mind to allow Ukraine to better defend itself against the onslaught of Russian attacks in the Northeast. In an exclusive interview with ABC's David Muir. They're authorized to be used in proximity to the border. We're not authorizing strikes. 200 miles into Russia. We're not offering strikes on Moscow, on the Kremlin. President Biden's speech today marks his most public engagement so far on this five-day trip overseas. Tomorrow, he and the First Lady will attend a state dinner hosted by the President of France. Emwyn, ABC News, Washington.